Hey guys, welcome back to RootZ. In the previous video, I told you how an IR sensor works and how to make a line follower using IR sensor. And I also told you how you can make a simple DIY burglar alarm using an IR sensor and a buzzer without using any microcontroller or complicated coding. In this video, I will show you how to make a simple DIY burglar alarm using DigiSpark with minimal coding. Have you guys heard about DigiSpark? Well, DigiSpark is a lightweight microcontroller development boot. DigiSpark comes with 6 GPIO pins, I2C, and a SPA serial communication and a USB interface. It also comes with 3 PWM pins which can be used for controlling speed of DC motors using L293D or controlling servo motors. And the best thing is, we can use Arduino IDE to program this boot. Guys, this is a PAR sensor. This sensor can be used for detecting human movement in front of it within its range of 4 meter to 13 meter. These sensors are small, compact and need minimal effort to set the project. This mainly has three pins, VCC, Out and Ground. VCC is where we connect 5V power supply, output pin turns on when it detects a human motion, and there is this ground pin where we connect negative terminal of the battery. JLC PCB is a PCB manufacturing company from where you can order PCBs online without any hustle. The company works 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, non-stop. With their high-tech machinery and automated work stream, they can manufacture huge quantities of high-class PCBs within hours. JLC PCB can deliver PCBs of various complexity. They develop simple and cheap PCBs with single layer board for hobbyists and enthusiasts as well as complex multi-layer boards for high standard industrial application. Now let's start building our burglar alarm. This project is very simple and you won't need more than one minute to set this up. This is how we set up the entire circuit. Input voltage is connected to 7805 regulator. 7805 is a 5 volt regulator which will convert any voltage between 7 to 32 volt to a steady 5 volt DC supply. For this, I'll be using a 9 volt battery or a 12 volt DC power supply. And there are indicator LEDs at various points for easy troubleshooting. For now, JLC PCB have 689 basic components and 30,000 plus extended components at your disposal. See the complete list of components here. Make sure you add the components from this list while drawing the schematics in ECEDA. You can even search for the components and check its availability. Now you can get your layout done using inbuilt tools in ECEDA. So here's the PCB layout of the board. And now you can download the Gerber file, CPN file and the BOM file. We will be using these three files to order our PCB online using JLC PCB. To order the PCB, go to JLC PCB website and click on code now. Now upload your Gerber file. Once the Gerber file is uploaded, it will show you a preview of your circuit board. Make sure this is the PCB layout of the board you want. Below the PCB preview, you will see so many options such as PCB quantity, texture, thickness and color. Choose all that are necessary for you. Click on assemble your PCB boards. Now you will have to upload the BOM and CPL file that we downloaded earlier. Select all the components you want JLC PCB to assemble in your PCB. Simply click on the confirm box to select the components. In this page, you can review your order. You can check the layout, see all the components and if there is any problem, you can click on go back and edit your order. Once everything is done, click on save to cart and in the next page, you can choose the shipping and payment option and check out securely. You can either use PayPal or credit or debit card to pay. The PCB will be manufactured and shipped within days and will be delivered to your doorsteps within the mentioned time period. Once you get the PCBs in hand, all you have to do is solder the header pins and the remaining components and connect the PAR sensor. Now it's time to upload our code to DigiSpark. If you are new to DigiSpark and don't know how to set it up, check out this video. In this video, I have explained everything you need to know about DigiSpark and upload your first code. Once the code is uploaded to the DigiSpark, you can connect the DigiSpark to your PCB, the PAR sensor, place it somewhere in the room and power on the circuit. The buzzer will start to beep whenever it detects a human movement. 